You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, merciless, and love, O Sacred Heart, our Lord. May all hearts be united to your sacred hearts. Grant that we may be transformed to the image of living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins, purify our hearts, so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred hearts. Amen. Sacred heart of Jesus. We do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise, for you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable hearts. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be open and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops, especially we pray for Archbishop Brown. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious and all people. And gracious Father, we pray for those who are sick especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, neurological diseases, neuromuscular diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are grieving. We pray for the homeless, the poor, 
the unemployed and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for my wish. Have mercy on my wish and downpour your Holy Spirit upon my wish. That my wish be able to follow and be able to be a, a great Christian. We pray, Lord, that uh, with Moish, and uh, Moish is asking that you forgive all their sins. Uh, apparently, there's a broken relationship in Moish's life. We pray that you, if it is your will and desire, that you bring them back together again. And that if it is your will and desire that they may uh, come together in holy matrimony. Moish understands and believes that you have all power, God. And she comes before you. And as that that you be her sustenance and her strength and that you help Moish deal with this uh, feeling uh, this powerful feeling that she has for for her love or the one she feels is her love Heavenly Father, we pray for Saivet, who took her EMT test yesterday, and she will hear the results next Tuesday. Lord, we pray that you will help her pass this test, that she will have done extremely well. We pray, Jesus, she, she, that whenever she takes the next test, and the things that she's planning on doing, that she will be able to uh, keep calm and focused and not, that she will figure out a, a way of studying properly for the test so that when the test comes, she will pass these exams with flying colors. Have mercy on her, Jesus, and strengthen her in all goodness and by your mercy, Jesus, keep her free from sin. Help her. Lord, she's, uh, she's got a good heart. Watch over her and protect her. And Jesus, we pray for Louis, her brother. That you will help him. He's uh, working hard in school. Working hard at work to support himself. Help him, O Lord, and strengthen him in all goodness. And open doors for him. Open opportunities for him. We also pray, Jesus, that you will bless Marie Belize and Elizabeth and the entire family. We pray for Rebecca, who is finishing up her uh, last year of college or last semester of college coming up. And then she'll graduate that you will help her with the application process for the uh, physician assistant program that uh, she will have everything in place and, and do things in a timely fashion and that she will seek out help from a mentor. These things require uh, more than one set of eyes and that in doing so she will be able to um, have everything lined up the, the right way so that when she Put seeing her applications to the different physician assistant programs, she will be able to succeed on the first try and get in and begin her studies uh, soon. 
also Jesus. We pray for Andrew, who um, will be leaving junior college soon and begin to uh, go to a four-year institution, that his mind will be set right. Uh, he's a very smart young man, but uh, four-year institutions, especially nowadays, require uh, dedication and hard work to succeed. And so we pray that he will be determined, that he will be dedicated, and that he will stick with it until he completes his studies. Heavenly Father, we pray for Christine. Lord, we praise you and thank you that she got into med school. It was not an easy thing to do. Thousands upon thousands of people apply every year. Only a few thousand get interviews. And out of those few thousand, a small percentage, a tiny percentage of people get into medical school. But by your mercy, through your power, she got into med school. And we have to, you to thank for that, Lord. Not only that, Jesus. She got a scholarship. And we praise you for that because that's going to help her substantially. And she got in the school of her choice. School she wanted to go to. Which will save her a substantial amount of money. Which will allow her to remain... Uh, in contact with the people that have helped her all along the way. And that will allow her to, with your help, continue doing research. Um, and perhaps find ways of helping people with uh, autism and other uh, neurological diseases. And Lord, as you know, uh, medical school is hard now. She's always been involved with a extremely difficult and arduous uh, academic career, so this is not her first time at the rodeo. Um, but we pray, Lord, that you will help her, that you will help her to be focused as she has always been, that you will help her to work fast and efficiently, that she will continue to learn to be a better student. Uh, she's got some good habits, and there's no reason why she shouldn't pick up some new good ones and make herself a better student as she continues to go along. And learn to use her time better. Because as she continues to go along with her plans, Lord, of being a physician researcher, um, she's going to have to be a, a, a fantastic manager of time um, to be able to do that. And we pray, Lord, that um, you will help her um, with her classes. That she will not only do well, but do extremely well excel in all her classes additionally that she will be able to um, get into her desire specialty which is uh, pediatric neurology and uh, you but we tr continue to trust in you lord knowing that you know where she belongs and what she needs to be doing you have worked it out all along in spite of the fact that we had our worries or doubts and or anger and all those things, you were in total and complete control. And you still are in control. And she continues to want you to be in control. She trusts us in you. We trust in you, Lord. Continue to help her. We pray for our ministry. The Order of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus. The Missionary Diocese of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Sacred Hearts of Jesus Chapel, that we may be able to um, spread the devotion to the sacred hearts of Jesus, that we may have many clergy and many uh, lay ministers out there sharing the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Help us grow, oh Jesus. Uh, help us expand, not only here in Florida, but on the areas and regions that I was assigned to grow. And gracious Father, pray for Evelyn and her word. Keep her safe out there as she as she drives around from uh, home to home and facility to facility. Allow her and help her, Lord, to manage her time better. Uh, grant her the ability to write her notes a lot faster so that she can have a little time to relax and enjoy herself. Give her energy and strength, Jesus, and grant her the wisdom 